what i am going to tell you is about is about the first category again and you can see different questions as well and you can see the change of sequence of the questions as well so let's have a start you can't see clearly behind when reversing what should you do so open the window to look behind open the door to look behind behind ask someone to guide you look in the near side mirror so what i have to ask someone to guide you when reversing you can't look in the near side mirror which one i am not sure which will be the answer so i am going with the third one I, it looks better and it fortunately it is correct what may happen if you hang objects from your interior mirror your window screen would mess up your sun visor might get tangled your radio reception might be affected your view, view yes your view could be obstructed in which of these situations should you avoid overtaking in a one way street approaching a dip in the road just after a bend on a 30 miles per, uh, per hour road so i am moving towards the second one what should you do as you approach this bridge slow down change gear move to the right keep to 30 miles per hour i think the better one is the slow down What's likely to happen if you use a hands-free phone while you are driving? So it will divert your attention. About, uh, what's likely to happen if you use a hands-free phone? Obviously, it will reduce your view. It will increase your concentration. It will improve your safety. It will divert your attention. You are waiting to emerge from a junction. The wind screen pillar is restricting your view. What should you be particularly aware of? You are waiting to emerge from a junction. The wind screen pillar is restricting your view. What should you be particularly aware of? So I think the most one is the motorcyclist. When do wind screen pillars cause a serious obstruction to your view? When you are approaching a one-way street, when you are driving on a motorway, when you are driving on a dual carriageway, when you are approaching bands and junction, what should you do before making a U-turn? Give an arm signal as well as your indicators. Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. Look over your shoulder for final, making your final check. Select a high gear than normal. I think third one. You are waiting to turn right at the end of a road. Your view is obstructed by parked vehicles. What should you do? Wait for a pedestrian to let you know when it's safe for you to emerge. Turn your vehicle around immediately, find another junction to use, move quickly to where you can see so you only block traffic from one direction. Stop and then move forward slowly and carefully for a clear view. So in this case, uh, so only block traffic, uh, block traf traffic from one direction, stop and then move forward slowly clearly from i think the fourth one so fortunately it is correct you are turning right onto a dual, dual carriageway what should you do before emerging stop apply the brake and then select a low grade check that the reser central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle position your vehicle well to the left of the side make sure that you leave leave enough room for vehicle behind do you look at what should you do before emerging i think the fourth one is it i am not sure whether i am correct or not oh for unfortunately i tick mark the wrong answer and check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle so this is the one this is the correct answer you can check it out so unfortunately i scored here 90 percent due to one incorrect answer so hopefully you understand it how do you practice different categories and it is the first category category of the theory driving test on which i am was working with it and currently i'm trying my level best to achieve 100 percent every time so i will practice it five times per uh, only first category then again move forward to the move towards the second category then the third one then the fourth one then the fifth one first i will do separately or you can say individual ones and then i move forward to the uh, uh i will uh, try to uh, practice all the categories of the theory driving test and at once in this way i will practice a lot and i will be more finer 
with the passage of time so i'm trying my level best so hopefully you will guys understand how do you practice your theory test of the driving thank you so much this is the time to say you bye bye